So PUBG aka Battlegrounds Mobile India is now available only to a few testers. It's not officially launched yet, but it's the internet generation. It's out and I got access to it. I'll share how to get it by the end of the video. But yes, we did. And can Battlegrounds Mobile India be banned again? Well, we'll talk about all of that, the gameplay and four important things you need to know about Indian PUBG or Battlegrounds Mobile India. Let's go. So first up, the Battlegrounds Mobile India has a new logo. You get the tricolor on the app icon, so they are telling you it's for India. And the first thing about BGMI is you can use your old data. As soon as you sign up, it tells you whether you want to import your old account data. Like in my case, it's asking to link my old Facebook or Twitter account and then it will merge the data from your previous account and your current account. You cannot merge your account after 31st December 2021. Anyways. I don't think you guys will wait till that. Then you have to wait some time for the data to get merged. The second thing is now the gameplay is less violent. There are a lot of changes within the app. Small changes, but it will affect your experience. First thing is the color of blood is now green. You can change the color in settings to slightly darker or lighter shade than normal. And when you shoot someone, you can see leaves flying out of them. I personally feel the green color blood doesn't help in immersive game experience. And when you kill someone, it says finished. Instead of kill, it's now finished. Don't worry, winner winner chicken dinner is still there. Uh, also, there is now a gameplay management system in BGMI. In simple words, it will alert you when you play the game for a long time. And this is done because of huge pressure in India from courts and everywhere for children spending a long time playing PUBG. Also, there's a small warning at the start of the game. This is a simulation game set in a virtual world and does not represent real life. Please play in moderation, take frequent breaks and play responsibly. There is also a warning when you open the app every time. Now, since this is India exclusive game, the servers are in India. Also, the game is logged at HDR only. I use the OnePlus Nord CE to play BGMI. And as you can see, the gameplay is logged at 30 FPS. Another small thing I noticed is that BGMI now asks only for storage and microphone permission. I think with PUBG, it was different. Let me know in the comments below. And that's the third thing, security. The game Battleground Mobile India is brought by Kraft & Company now. In case you don't know, PUBG was earlier distributed by Tencent Mobile, which was a Chinese company. Now Kraft & Mobile, which is a South Korean company, is redistributing PUBG Mobile. Tencent still has a small share in it, but it's Kraft and Mobile now. And the servers are now only in India. As you can see during the gameplay, my location is India. So you can only play with Indian players. There's a pop-up that says that you cannot change server at your will. You will have to do it in the settings. I couldn't find the option now, but it could come later or you will have to contact customer service within the app. The final thing about the BGMI game is the Indian government. As BGMI claimed that the Indian government has authorized them to launch in India, well, a person on Twitter by the username Dr. Gaurav Tyagi filed an RTI to ask the Indian government that have they authorized PUBG or BGMI for India launch. The Indian Home Ministry said that they don't grant permission for launching an app, they can only block it. And as per section 69A of the IT Act, if the government officials feel that an app is harming India's security, defense, they can block it. So in simple words, the Indian government cannot ban an app before its release. So after the release, the government can ban it if it is required. Overall, the PUBG mobile name has been renamed to Battlegrounds Mobile India, BGMI, but it's just the name change only. The gameplay, settings, maps, weapons, mostly all of it remains the same. Old wine in a new bottle. And the Indian government can still ban the app and we'll have more clarity on it within a few weeks. And for those who still haven't installed Battlegrounds Mobile India, well, you can head over to the Play Store, pre-register for the app and Play Store will automatically download it when it's available. And if you can't wait, well, the APK is available on the internet. You can try that out. But I would recommend wait for the official method and just to be on the safe side. Let me know what you think about that. Subscribe to TechWiser. This is Pratik signing off. See you soon.